Just leave me alone. I just want to talk. Oh, you. get away from me. Mum says you're going to prison for life, non swing. Yeah, well, you don't know anything, and neither does your idiot mum, so just, just get off her back. No one slags off mine, Mum. <laughs> Oi, lay off her. Come to save your girlfriend, pathetic or what? I'm not his girlfriend. I've got everything on her. You're threatening her, she's hurt. Like anyone's bothered. Jacob, you're just making things worse. Want work. me to take this to the police? Do you want your mum and dad to find out? You wouldn't dare. Try me. <laughs> you OK? No, not really. Don't go. Oh, Jacob, you heard what I said. I don't want to see you. Stay away from me. Come on. Let's go. Hey. Oh! Outdoor cinema in Yorkshire. <laughs> That's optimistic. Uh, hot and hall. They do one a week in the grounds. You take a picnic and a blanket. <laughs> what, one of those uh, silver foil thingies you get after running the marathon? <laughs> <laughs> a Star is Born's on. Have you seen it? No. I mean, I'm a fan of the original. Oh, um, Barbara... Streisand, De Chris Christopherson. Christopherson. Yeah, it's a great film. <laughs> oh, yeah, groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's not the original. Janet Gaynor, 1937, black and white. Uh, yeah, well, that's classic. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> oh, and, uh It's showing tomorrow. I best, uh Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Uh, uh, Shama and Shama, how can I help? Mm hmm You've done your knight in shining armour thing, just go. But what did you expect to happen? I think about you all the time. Jacob, move. All that stuff you said to me, about how you didn't love me, how you were off your head even being with me, you only said that because Grandad was there. You had to push me away, but you didn't mean any of it. I could tell, the way you looked at me. Please, Maya, don't go. judge finds out I've been anywhere near you, that's a custodial sentence straight away. Or more added on to the time they're already going to give me. Megan thought she'd go to prison for what she did to Grandad. But she just got community service and came I home. I was your teacher, Jacob. It doesn't matter that we were in love. The judge will be brainwashed into seeing it as abuse. Were. Oh, don't start now, Jacob. I've never stopped. I am breaking the law just by being here with you. So I'm going to drive to the outside of the village and you are going to get out of this car. You're going to walk no. away. It was madness me even letting you in here in the first place. You couldn't help yourself. You needed to see me, just like I need to see you. You're making excuses. No, I'm just being honest with you. There's nobody worth swiping left, right, up, down. Been there, done that. Hundreds of thousands of single men online, and you can't even find one that you want to go out with. It's all about chemistry, isn't it? You know, the feeling when you meet somebody's eye, and... You know, you, you can't get that over the internet, can you? You don't need to tell Jay. You ended up snogging him to get rid of his last internet date because he booked an escort by mistake. Talk about above and beyond. Laurel saved me from myself. Yeah, well, I'll come round later. We are finding you a fella if it kills me. Look, you've been on your own way too long. You don't want to end up an undateable like him. Always a pleasure, Nicola. She didn't mean that. You reckon? Tell her, Jay. The only way to get back on that horse is to get back on it. <laughs> Consider yourself told. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Sí. You can walk from here. I'm not leaving you. Not until I'm sure you're okay. Yeah, well, my mother's disowned me. No friends, no job, no life. A daytime TV habit and new prescription of antidepressants from the doctor. I'd say my life's pretty perfect right now. And I know it's all my fault. I want to make things right. Got a fake passport and a private jet to hand. It's stupid. We both want each other. Why do you have to go to prison? Why can't they all just leave us alone? If the worst happens and I get taken away tomorrow... I'll wait for you. No matter how long it takes. And if I walk out of court, oh, free woman, then what? We'll go away together. Somewhere miles away from here. Where nobody knows us. You have to be sure that you love me enough. I love you. I love you. So much. But you'll be leaving your home, your friends, your family for me. I'm sick of them telling me how to live my life. I don't want to live without you. Tomorrow, after court, I'll have my bag packed. I'll be waiting. Thought you'd still be in your pit. Uh, just getting my washing. Looks like you're packing for a week. I thought I might go back to my dad's, if that's all right with you. And whose idea was this? Mine, I guess. Now that he's started his therapy, I should give him a chance. Not that I haven't appreciated being here. Everything you've both done for me. Jacob, he's your dad. He'll never repair anything unless you're living with him. So you're cool with it? I am delighted. First step back to normality. Smile into yourselves for sound of madness. Unless you found a match and you've been up all night, you know, swapping your entire life histories. Oh, sounds exhausting. <sighs> Did you even try just one little punt, Laurel? I know you can do it. M let's look now. No, I told you, photos are no good. If you saw a picture of Jimmy, would you swipe now? Mm, not a morbid fascination, maybe. Oh, and this isn't about me, so don't change the subject. I reckon you're bricking it. Which is normal, cos when did you last go on a date? Uh, um... Bob doesn't count. Well, between Brenda and the kids, I don't think we even shared a soggy pizza. Exactly, you're out of practice. You need to build up your confidence on the baby slopes. And we're off all afternoon because of the boiler upgrade, so you can't plead your usual excuses. What excuses? Hang on, where's this going? I'll find you the perfect guinea pig. Paul, lunchtime. Midlife crisis, nice touch. We shouldn't be talking. You did yesterday to Jacob. And I know he's not packing to be with me, so what are you planning? Other than walking out of here and trying to find a new job, I don't know what you're on about. You're lying. You're paranoid. Just because you don't have a relationship with your son, it's not my fault. You're going down, you do know that. My solicitor reckons two years, which means you'll serve a year at least. Pretty much scuppers any plans for a career change, doesn't it? Explaining your criminal record. Not safe to be around kids. Knocks out most things for an ex-history teacher, doesn't it? So that's going to be fun. No career, no money. No family, no friends. I've got friends. You don't know everything about me. I know that you've destroyed your life for a 15-year-old. He was 16. <laughs> Sexual communication with a child. Which means they're going to lock you up on the sex offenders block with all the other perverts. 
Yeah, that's right, mate. They're just like you. Needy and messed up and so lacking in their own lives that they've convinced themselves that abusing children's normal. It wasn't abuse. And I'm not going to prison. I'm going to be with Jacob. Just like I warned you, so I don't know why you're so surprised. You've lost, David. And there's nothing you can do about it. School. Elliot's been busted for contraband chocolate. Nicola's groveling to the lunchbox police. But lucky for you, I'm here. <laughs> oh. So it's you. You're my victim. Nicola didn't exactly look very far, did she? Sorry? Right, well, I'll have a lime and soda. I'm a cheap date. Not that I'd say that in the actual situation. The situation. This is gonna be really weird, isn't it? Uh shall we shall we role play? Might be easier. Hmm? Yeah, so I will be Janet and you can be George. Right. <laughs> you smell nice, George. <sighs> the, the nose is the root of all chemistry. Well, it is according to Chatty Magazine. Uh... <laughs> so, suck it up, Nicola. I'm not totally clueless. OK, what's next? This is fun. Um, show an interest in him. Big hands, George. How do you spend all those long hours on the road? Hmm? <laughs> hmm. What's this? Nothing. <sighs> Two tickets for the outdoor cinema. Oh, I heard about that from a patient. Yeah, he impaled his leg on one of those collapsible chairs. Oh. <sighs> So who are you taking? That lady boiler engineer? <laughs> she looks very minxy. But no, I'm not pouncing on some random boiler engineer. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a present from me to you both. Why? You've never been one for spontaneous gifting, haven't I? No, you barely remember birthdays. A gift voucher is as good as it gets. OK, so I'm, I'm making up for it now. <laughs> My thanks to you both for looking after Eliza. Well, I think it's a lovely gesture. And why can you not just say thank you? Thank you, son. You know you're all dead very well. Sorry, they took ages searching me. Security decided later to shift it. Wonder why. They um, didn't expect you. Not the best way of spending a day off. If I hadn't brought Mayor to the village in the first place, I could have spared you all. I've just seen her. Got to admit that things are still on with Jake. What? Yeah, did met up yesterday, made some sort of plan. My dad caught him packing a bag. No, but that's impossible. She's going to prison. Not according to her. Right, you have to tell the solicitor about a meeting up in secret. Well, it's just her word against mine, isn't it? I can't prove anything, and Jakey's not going to grasp. OK, so let's say she walks today. She'll be on the sex offenders register. And that's what the solicitor said, right? Yeah, she can't go near him, or she'll be breaking her conditions. Yeah, she'll be crazy. They'll just go abroad like they were planning before. Where's Jake now? He's with your dad, right? He's practically glued to him, so just try and stay calm. I'll be calm when this is all over. So how am I doing? I mean, would you want to take me home to meet your mother? Or would you want to ravish me? My mother is dearly departed. Yeah, no, I know. It's just an expression. So come on, marks out of ten. Do you fancy me, George? This is getting very inappropriate now. Oh, that's fair. A large Merlot for my friend here and another pint for Jimmy, please. Yeah, I I is he all right? Cos he he's got a sweat on and his eyes are all bulgy. Oh, he's probably dreaming about food. <laughs> Nigella's haddock does that to him. <laughs> this is Tom. I kidnapped him in the school car park. Anything to help a fellow councillor in need? Mm -hmm. Look, I can steer you through the murky swamps of catfishing and submarining and deep, deep likes. Baby slopes, practice day. Do you... Oh, God. Oh, you should be honoured. He's highly sought after by all the single mums on the PTA. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Carl, you look the type of girl to have a traditional picnic basket, china plates, check napkins, and a cruet? Yeah, in my dreams, yeah. A cool box will do us perfectly well. Jay has bought us tickets to the outdoor cinema. A Star is Born is my favourite. <laughs> oh, mine too. Thorough! Going. Thank you. Get you another orange, Laurel. So, what are you doing? Oh, it's, it's my fault. I suggested playing on his game box thingy to distract him, so he sent me on a goose chase for batteries and slipped away. Adamant, Foster. Adamant that he's coming here. It's about me. I've got a right to be here. That's why I said no. This is a terrible idea. Now is not the time to discuss it, right? Could the defendant please stand? Please confirm your name. Mayor Stepney. The indictment is as follows. That you, Mayor Stepney, a person aged 18 or over, for the purpose of obtaining sexual gratification, intentionally communicated with another person, namely Jacob Gallagher, on the 15th of January, 2019, by way of text message. The communication was sexual and was intended to encourage Jacob Gallagher to make a communication that is sexual. And Jacob Gallagher was you're lying. Then you're you planning to be with her? Did not reasonably believe I don't know what you're on about. I talked to a jerk. Don't treat me like I'm stupid. You do realise she's leaving here in a prison van, don't you? Jake. We'll see. You've been here for hours. You must be due back at the office. Hey, coaching a woman to reach her full potential is far more interesting than selling pensions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honoured. But I'm sure that the, the school mums are far more worthy of your talents. Classic do yourself down. Hey, look, there is nothing sexier than confidence, Laurel. So, prepare for me to release that inner vixen. Oh, <gasps> see? A bit of TLC, that's all she needed. Mm. Star is born. Sold out, no! Jurassic Park, all the sound of music. That is for a date. Open air cinema. Uh, well, depends. Do you want her to be traumatised by a T Rex or a terrible singing? <laughs> I've heard that the defendant is a previously good character, a respected teacher at Houghton Academy for many years. Formerly a governor. Sounds positively angelic. Are we talking about the same person? And committed stepmother to your ex-husband's daughter, who lost her mother at a young age. Yeah, I heard that. You have also had no contact with Jacob since these charges were brought, which is to your credit, albeit according to your bail conditions. No, 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 no that's not right. The guy used that. Your Shh, job it. as a teacher placed you in the highest position of trust over the pupils in your care. Well, that's a joke. Your relationship with Jacob is already compromised by the fact you were in a serious relationship with his father. You're not serious enough for it to stop humiliating Rather him. Rather than maintain boundaries between home and school, you betrayed your employer, your partner, and the young man at the center of this who was 15 years old when the sexual communication took place. And the rest. So I'm in no doubt that this case passes the custody threshold. And while I give credit for the guilty plea, I sentence you to 12 months immediate imprisonment. No. No, please. Let her go. You've got it wrong. Jacob. Please, how can you do this to us, please? Jacob. Jake, get off me. Mickle is right. You're in dire need of some game. Have you got game? <laughs> Try finding a woman that said no to me. Have you said no to him? He's not asked. Yet. Now, you're a mum, right, Lauren? Uh, Laurel. Yeah, two girls and a boy. Not terribly vixen but um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just don't tell the guys that you're saddled. And this outfit. I mean, bows, at your age. Really, Lauren? Laurel! And what's wrong with bows at any age, anyway? 
<laughs> I got you. Do you see how easy it was to get you on the back foot there? Oh. See, that's how you win your date. Oh, yeah, forget the name. Throw them a compliment. That's really an insult. You know, the more insecure they are, the better you seem. Have you seen Jake? We can't find him. Your dad's trying to calm him down. Can you believe the nerve of that judge, or lack of? Barely a slap on May's perverted wrist, flipping travesty. Well, she could have got away with only probation, so at least she's been given a year. Oh, what dross. With her little Miss Butter wouldn't melt out, she'll be out of prison in a couple of months. Out to what, though? She's on the sex offenders list now. She'll have to start her life over from scratch. Yeah, away from kids. She's not allowed anywhere near them. Yeah, because abusers are well known for following the law. Oh, come on, you can't believe that was the best sentence in they could do. It was the best we could get with the evidence that we were given. Jake! Jake! Jake, wait! No! You're desperate to say goodbye. It's almost to Maya! They won't let him see her, David. Are they old mates? You'd think so, wouldn't you? The man's a marvel. Just met. Blind date. And he's showing us how it's done. I think that's good. Yeah. Don't make yourself too available to me. What? What? Your date should want your attention, so... Yes, that's it. Perfect. What? What? I'm pretending not to be too keen on us. Now, there should be touch, but only if they've earned it. How'd you earn it? By seeking approval from you. Now, returning touch, smiling too much, you know, their reward is your attention. And if you don't approve, then you just withdraw it. Touch, attention, all of it. Why? To make them dependent on your approval. I'll wait. You know I'll wait. I love you. May you please look at me, please. Oh, Jake. David. Later, maybe, not now. Oh, oh. So oh sorry, Jay. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, right. Excuse me? No, I'm not an idiot, Laurel. <laughs> but actually, I am, for thinking that me and you might... Uh... What? We what? <laughs> You've made your point. What point? We don't need to play games. <laughs> Look, we work together. You know, I'm the boss, you're the employee, that's it. Look, I get it. Do you? Because I... Enjoy the rest of your date. Oh, that's nearly over, sir. Don't you make you laugh? You should go out. Have fun. Laugh some more. <laughs> and I I'm going to do the stock take, so don't worry about brushing in first thing in the morning. And don't worry about it being weird or... It'll be like nothing ever happened. But nothing did happen. Come on! If I'd have wanted moping, I'd have stayed at home with Eric and Jacob. Buck up! Celebration time. He said it was a travesty. Yeah, and you all said it was lucky Maya got sent down at all. I'm just trying to look on the bright, bubbly side here. Yeah, but you were right. She should have got longer. She could have. How? If there'd been a witness that had seen him together. She'd have got double the time, at least. Do you know what, David? Now is not the time to if and but, is it, OK? Let's... Let's just take what we can get. She's behind bars and safely away from our son. Well, she looked more shocked than anyone. Part of me almost felt sorry for her. Hold on for a second. It was like he was in some sort of cult that you couldn't see. He's in love. He's brainwashed. I didn't even know it. Yeah, well, he's got time to be de-culted now, so yay. Drink up. It's not a celebration. Oh, it is. The Wicked Witch has been sent down, which is worthy of a toast. To may go into prison hip hooray. Hooray. You're disgusting. Jacob, look, this it's not what it looks like, OK? You say you didn't want to hurt me, but you're all gloating at her being stuck in prison for a year. You've all ruined her life. No, she ruined her life. And she's going to be locked up, and thank God, because you were going to run away with her. To get away from you. I hate you both. Yeah, maybe you do now, but you will see. This is how it had to be, OK? But it didn't. You both did this. It's all on you. Oh, Jake. Ah! Jacob! 
God, no! I wish I'd done that ages ago. I tried to tell you both, to get you to understand. May is everything to me. But you don't care. It's not an obsession. It's not a phase, and I'm not crazy. I love her. When she left, she couldn't even look at me. Because of what you both did to her. It's your fault, but I'm the one she blames. Move, Layla, or I'll... Just move. Are you all right? Um, no, not really. Just don't know what to do anymore. That's why we should be celebrating May getting some sort of justice, but I just feel worse. He hates us, David. He really hates us. Look, this is just him grieving and wanting to punish somebody. Things are going to get better from there. Yes, you can't hurt him anymore, or you. I thought we had a chance, but now you saw how he was. He's going to wait for her. I thought locking her up was going to be an end to it, but... Or if it's not... Laurel? Uh, are you... Is everything OK? No. It's awful. Did something happen on your date? Yes. You. What did I do? You're driving me bananas! One minute you seem keen, and next minute you don't, and then you're telling me that I'm playing games. Oh, weren't you? I would never play games. I've just spent hours. I'm never going to get back with some imbecile who's trying to teach me ways of tricking somebody into wanting you, and it's the absolute last thing I would ever want to do. Well, then what is? <sighs> oh, God. I'm, I'm so sorry. I've got it all wrong and muddled, haven't I? I'm... Surprise, surprise. <laughs> He's not coming down. So... You're going to tell me who gave you the fat lip? It was Jacob. Jacob did that? Yeah. Sorry, mate, I'm not angry. I know you didn't mean it, not really. I did mean it. And I'm not sorry. What you did was worse. Jakey! Don't! That's a kid's name. And even though you won't accept it, I'm not a kid. I've not been one for ages. OK, Jacob. I know this might be hard for you to believe right now, but every single thing your dad and me have done for you has been to help you, right? To protect you. I just hope you can see that one day. Well, I won't. You keep saying it was for me, but you're lying. Locking Mayor up doesn't change anything. I'll wait for her, as long as it takes. She's still in my life. All you've done is make me love her more because of what she's going through for me. I'll never give up on her. I hope you'll say that's not true. It is. I'm sorry you're hurting. But I'm not sorry she's in prison. Because, believe it or not, she has damaged you in ways that you can't imagine right now. And it might take years to fix. But we'll be there with you every single step of the way. When you're ready, Jacob will be there. I won't be ready. Ever. However much you hate me and your dad right now, we need you to know that we are never going to let you down again. You should have seen what May was doing to you and we will never forgive ourselves for letting him... What she's done. All she did was love me. Jacob, it's not love. It's not. We love you, JK. I'm sorry. Jacob. And I promise you, we'll get through this together. You. You're the bad ones. If I'm damaged, you're the ones who've damaged me. 
She's not the abuser. You guys are. You're the ones bullying me, trying to make me feel ashamed of who I love. I never want to see you ever again. You're not my dad. And you're not my mum. I'm done with you both. Thank you.